Yes, in 1458, I just became Prussia. A few days ago, I did a poll on my YouTube community asking you if you had to choose, would you play without admin, Diplo and Miltech? Only 6% of you said uh, without the Mil technology. And this is why we're gonna go and play today to Tony Coder into Prussia without taking a single tech. We're gonna stick tech free. Not only try surviving, but also proceed through our mission tree and create a militarized Prussian state. In any case, if you want to get notified about this kind of a content or even participate in our YouTube community polls and posts, remember to leave a subscription and I'm gonna see you very, very soon. First things first, uh, I'm gonna go and pick up my rivals. We have to definitely rival Poland because the main part of our mission tree is about defeating them and I cannot unlock <laughs> most of these branching missions without that. That should help me ally either Hungary or Bohemia which I'll use to defeat Poland. Let's go for Bohemia because they have same amount of the troops but Bohemia has subjects. Then we're also gonna ally Livonian Order because there's another mission over here to ally Livonian Order and you do also allow me to subjugate them. So that's gonna be very useful. As for the other rivals, it's gonna be Lithuania as well as Denmark. So just the guys that rivaled me. Let's send the barracks to protect the trade in the Baltic Sea while the rest of the fleet will be hunting pirates because Gotland is about to be pirate and we need to stop that. As for the armies, I will go ahead and start recruiting a free company while uh, getting rid of 2000 infantry over here to be on the force limit, turning off the forts turning of the armies. Important thing when you start a Teutonic Order is to get rid of the Prussian Confederation. To do that, it is fairly easy because you have to complete the mission that is over here. You need to have one stability and 40% of crownland. To achieve that, I will go on Cisland right away, that's 35%. To get five more percent, which means I cannot take the power points at the very start from my states. So instead of that, I will go ahead and take religious diplomats for the re better relations with Catholics. From nobility, I'm just gonna go and increase the loyalty to keep it over 40%. My from burgers, I will take 1% loans as well as prestige. Some of the diet. Oh, devic manpower. That's I have to spend my meal points somewhere, right? I can't take the technology, so I'm gonna focus on ideas and devic. So this is a perfect mission for our goal. I will be not taking the advisors yet or I should. Mana is more important than a couple of ducats. Let me take advisors for everything already. That's gonna be morale, that's gonna be diplomatic reputation to go and get live on order as a subject, as well as prestige. Now we've turned off armies, we are making money, that's gonna be even more once I take the cheaper advisors from the states, but I'm not gonna take them until I actually boost my stability to one. Now the air. Remember, we start with two, one, two. Okay, at least he's in proof relations. I want the guy that gives me money. And that's a four, four, four. I Heinrich. I love it. He's 35 years old. Hopefully, we're gonna get him on the throne very soon. And let me go ahead and send alliance to live on an order. Now, also go ahead and start improving my relations with Austria, because if we improve the relations to a hundred, this will allow me the Sikh Imperial Protection mission over here, which will be important in the long term. There we go with a mission which is expand our army, that's for building this boy and having a recruited advisor, that's for defense and shock damage received. I don't have to take it yet, I would take it just before the war with Poland. To get the Livon order mission, I need to improve my relations with them to 150, so let me go and send that to start doing so. Sweden asked for support for the independence. Oh boy, no, 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 I have better stuff to do in Europe. I just got raided by Gotland. This is too bad. Yeah, you see, it's not hurting as much, just like very minor. Mr. Memel, it's the having time, encourage development, tick tick, and additional manpower is ours. I can also boost my stability to one already. I just want to get clergy loyal first. So I'm gonna hesitate with that for a little while. There's no rush anyway until I get my crownlands to 40%. Looking at my traders, let's go and change the boys to give me not spine network, but improve relations. So I'm gonna improve relations with Leon Order a little bit faster. I could, I could have done at the very start. Mr. Leon Order, time to become our subject. Make a proposal for the Landmeister or the vassalization. If they reject, if they accept, they become my subject, just like that. If they reject, I will get subjugation castles belly for the 30 years. Wonderful 
they obviously accepted our proposal and has bounced the orders, which is manpower, recovery, speed, and yellow army tradition for 25 years. I'll take this one right away. Let's recruit our ruler and Ernst, the leader is not too good. I mean, two siege is fine. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yes, they did get the union over Lithuania. I fought for us they didn't. That's gonna make it tougher, but we like when it's tougher. And as for <laughs> fate of Neumark, no, 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 no. Mr. Brandenburg, these are core provinces of Teutonic Order. In any case, slowly preparing for the war with Poland, I'm gonna start building 2000 of CAF. Yes, I'm gonna use the CAF meta because it has far more damage early game and I have 10% CAF combat ability for my ideas. Now, with the mission for one order done, I'll go ahead and start building favors on Bohemia, so they're gonna help me against Poland in three years. As for the Austria mission here, seek Imperial protection. I can either ask them for the Imperial incident, the Teutonic Order and the Empire, or we gain a hundred mil points, five percent more of armies as well as yearly prestige. Now I'd rather really go for the second option, except it destroys my relations with Austria, which I'll need for my farther mission too, because we're not going for the Holy Horde, we're going for the Holy Roman Empire mission path, so I have to choose the first option. If relations with Austria improved, I want to go and... Oh, could I Papal State? I don't have... Yes, okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, gain one stability or Papal influence. Give me stability because it, I need for a mission. Ally Pope. And I'm gonna dissolve my alliance with Volgas because Volgas is not gonna be as useful as Pope. Now, if this is done, I'm gonna go. I wanted to start improving my relations with Muscovy, but they want to ally me by themselves. B E A beautiful. This is perfect for them. I can go over the relations limit, or maybe I should dissolve alliance with Gotland. Yes, I'll go out dissolve alliance with Gotland, and that uh, allows me to build favors with Muscovy, so maybe even them will help me against Poland. I got some more mill points, let me go ahead and start developing provinces in my capital state. Well, let's start with the capital, or maybe something to develop up to 10. No, let's just go ahead and uh, develop Marienburg twice. That keeps increasing my maximum Paris, which is already 16,000. Oh, and now I can also go and rival Novgorod. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, Poland just got Moldavia as the march, so it's gonna be even tougher. What are they allies, by the way? Really, Brandenburg? Really? Teutonic Order joins the Empire. For now. A fair over, so I can join the Empire, but, but I cannot attack anyone inside the HRE. If I do, that will be an offensive war against Austria. Sounds fair, but we can get rid of that later, so don't worry. Let's join the Holy Roman Empire as a protection. Time for more diving. So, yeah, my capital is still the cheapest, and the manpower is 16,500. The Race of the Knights. This is a very nice event. This is an event for the Teutonic Order. It has five years meantime to happen, so I, me getting that in four years is around the standard, and it gives me a lot of armies. Manpower recovery speed, yellow army tradition, manpower army tradition, and I'm gonna lose some admin power, which is fine. Well, I'm gonna easily get 10 favors on Bohemia, so let me stop doing favors on them, and I'm gonna start doing favors on Pope, so maybe even Pope will help me against Commonwealth. I was actually gonna use uh, a little bit uh, bigger power projections, I'm gonna ask for installed Novgorod to make it 21, then I'm gonna go and issue embargo on Denmark and Novgorod. I hit the manpower limit, uh, so I'm gonna start building more CAF above my first limit, because I'll need to go above my first limit to win the Commonwealth. Let me go ahead and summon the diet. Uh, something for clergy. Staff missions. Let me go for... I hate it. I need to start steering trade from the one I fucked up by not doing that earlier. And uh, I'm gonna go start paying for my forts, paying for my army. Truce with Poland just ended. Seize land to get it to 40%. See, that's an easy battle. That allows me to take the mission Handle the Confederation. That's prestige, national honors, and of course, no more disaster. I think I'm... And then I'm gonna wait for Muscovy. They're gonna finish up the war. Uh, I'll get them to 10 favors and then call them to make it just very easy peasy. <laughs> yes, Lithuanian trade, I have almost two ducats more of income. Slavic. Slavic. Why are you fucked up again? Also, as I'm planning to go diplomatic HRE path, I'll slowly start improving relations with uh, all of the electors. You can see some of them already love me. But we want to keep it that way in the long term. The burgers request privileges. Uh, yeah, lose mana, lose mana. Oh, lose less mana and get 
Yes, this is actually nice. Oh, guys, Denmark just declared on Gotland. I love it. They won't raid me anymore. You can see uh, Moscow just pissed out Novgorod, and I just realized that they fucked up hard. I lost my claims on Poland waiting for Moscow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like another mistake. Oh, Poland just declared on Wallachia. Yeah? Uh, just Wallachia and Byzantium, so that's unfortunate. But in any case, I'm gonna build yet another thousand of calf to make sure to win them. With Clay on Dobzhin, yeah, I could have uh, have far more. I can declare the war and Moscow. -y? <laughs> manpower. So if I give them my manpower, it's gonna be closer. Sir Masco, 15 against 20 reasons. Should we go YOLO? Yeah, I've lost claims waiting for Masco and I'm gonna declare without Masco. Fuck them. Just to make sure, yeah, take this mission for 4 defense and shock damage received. I just focus on my immediate occupation on the provinces that I know I will need for the mission for Poland, so everything around here. So how I'm playing this around is that uh, my free company. With two siege guys, siege and post nine, all the US is uh, trying to carpet siege. I'm not sure what to do with Brandenburg because uh, they still have how many thousand? Eight thousand troops, but it's a fourth level three. I could try. See, I could just occupy two provinces in Berlin. I prefer to go after Krakow. Look how Denmark trolled Moscow. They took Neva for themselves. I'm already winning this easily, and I could call Moscow to help here. Hmm. I mean, just to make it fast, Moscow will break alliance with us anyway sooner or later because they want our promises. Just use them in the meantime. With Brandenburg fully sieged, I just want to go humiliate them for PP, take, war reparations, max money, and uh, break the relations with Cornwall. My first going to four is gonna be the tax. Uh, we are <laughs> not a monarchy, so. We have a choice actually, a merchant could be useful. Change national focus cooldown is also very nice. Additional missionary, bonuses to sailors, which I don't need. Manpower recovery speed or tolerance of the true faith. Honestly, I'll go for additional merchant. The Hansa and the Order. We should renew these relations indeed. I would grant you back, which for which I don't have uh, a slot. Land maintenance and naval maintenance, that's a nice bonuses. Or I get 150 mana. <laughs> Screw you, Lubeck. Let's see the army quality of Poland and Lithuania. I think this is all their armies Poland, Lithuania, Moldavia in one place right now. Maybe they have some single stack somewhere else. But uh, let's see. Uh, hopefully, I don't even need reinforcements from my allies because they're getting absolutely smashed. And even more importantly, they are running away. Into the provinces next by. Hopefully, I can get this wipes. Wipe number one. Give me wipe number two. Yes. So now Lithuania is down to 0,000, Poland down to 0,000, and Moldavia down to 0,000. Their whole side is down to 0,000. I can send the pizza. I want all of this and this provinces. 14th December. This is perfect because you can see Denmark has 50 AE, so it's gonna drop right away within the year tick. On top of that, uh, I'm taking war reparations and a couple of ducats. I love it. Now, as we are playing, you know, a campaign where I'm not taking the build decks, I'm gonna keep feeding Cleveland in order to make them a strong subject to take advantage of them in the wars. This way, I'm feeding the princes from Lithuania into the Lithuanian order, and the rest is coming to me. Let's just reduce our exhaustion, core everything, and take the mission Defeat Poland, which unlocks me the future of the Teutonic Order mission tree. And here I can go Prussian path or the Holy Horde path. And of course, I want to go for the Prussian path, because everyone on YouTube is doing the Holy Horde path. Now to go ahead with the Prussian path, I need to go with uh, Clergy Burgers, Nobility Loyalty. By the way, I fucked up <laughs> again, Slavik, because as soon as I go this mission, I should have taken the power points from each of the states, which I'm doing right now, right away. Way. And we need to think how to get each of them to over 60 of loyalty. So I'll most probably go for the supremacy of the crown, uh, monastic order in this case, as it's gonna help already a lot. And also, let's go for something additional. Oh, guys, <laughs> I didn't take the cheaper advice receiver. Oh, it's one big failure, Zervik. It's one big failure, Zervik. What are you doing today? Oh, the forts. I don't think I need that many. Or do I? I think I do. I just have to turn them off. Here I'm gonna reduce the devastation. So I'm gonna keep it. Just turn off the state edicts. Or maybe here I'll change it for a protect trade. 
and uh, we'll be getting ready to get this mission done. Just also build up some more barracks. Uh, because look, we have already 50% of the Baltic Straits bar and we need more. How about like this expansion? Uh, see, it's, it's just perfect. So I've turned off armies, I'm running six ducats. Baltic is ours. Yes. We've got the 444 guy on the throne. My mana generation is fixed. How about the next guy? I need to play around with the loyalties more for the mission than actually taking the bonus that I need. Uh, there's no choice that keeps all of them happy. So probably decreasing clergy will be the safest because they have also the highest equilibrium. So they're gonna increase the fastest unless I do burgers and I get this mission to fix it. Yeah, guys, I think I'll go for the burgers. It's unfortunate, but 5-4-1 is not bad. Oh, and I've got another stability. I would have taken this if it was a cheaper advisor, but this guy is not cheaper. To make sure my relations are improved fast enough, I'm gonna change the trading policies in Krakow to improve relations and I'll do the same in the Baltics as well as Novgorod. I see a 50% cheaper advisor, I definitely hire him. With 50 of Papal influence, I'll go ahead and take my first bonus, which is gonna be improved relations. As for the promises from Poland, I will go and concentrate to move development to Marienburg and make it a state. Marienburg now has 21 for the mission, I'll need 30 development. With nobility having 55 of loyalty, I can go and summon the diet. Uh, of course, I'll take some mission on, uh, let's go for the marketplace because it's gonna be useful. And there goes the mission, the order and the empire. Now this unlocks me three potential mission paths. That's how nice and complex is the mission tree of the Teutonic Order. I have a path of diplomatic conquest of the HRE. I have a path of actual conquest of the HRE or a path of the Prussian Kingdom where I'm more focused on conquering Poland and Lithuania and I'll go for the diplomatic path because we're not gonna take Miltex. This is very useful because that allows me to change my country to Prussia. Yes, in 1458 I just became Prussia. I can change my ideas and just take a look at its I guess, expansion impacts, yeah, yeah, tradition, and then of course all the other modifiers. I might want to reform my armies a little bit because they have too much cap based on the Teutonic ideas. I think that also allows me to normally conquer HRE. Uh, I don't have the ban for the wars because I'm no longer a Teutonic Order. At the same time, if this guy's loyal, I can go and seize lands to get it to 20, and I got social mobility, which is cheaper advisors, and the cost of nobility being the loyal for a while. Let me go ahead and take uh, one, two, two loans, embrace the institution, take the fifth admin tech, which allows the first idea group. Now I will go for divine ideas, because their policy together with espionage is gonna give me siege ability. I want to stack siege ability bonuses because instead of fighting with the real military, I want to siege forts ASAP. So then uh, after espionage, I'll also be taking the offensive ideas. Let's start with divine, which is a death cost, and then also fire damage received. Ooh. Didn't know we can spawn face it in this Teutonic order. Price of gems. In Danzig! Oh yes, we can actually, yes, that's true. I love it. How is our economy now? 21.37 almost. Time for another mission, which is improve our diplomacy. I need to ally and have 150 opinion of five guys in the HRE. Should be fairly easy. So, let me go ahead and ally Cologne, ally Saxony, and ally Mainz. There we go, improve our diplomacy is 100 from progress, 150 diplo points, and trust on all of these boys of great opinion, which uh, matters not that much. Which is next currency form I can choose from. It's average monarch span, and new rules will trigger education event. Advise the cost, missionary strength, and absolutism, or idea cost, and institutions spread in through. I'm struggling between idea cost and uh, the education. And I'll go for the education, so my guy will get the military education. And I have to clear my alliances a bit because we have just too many. I think I don't need Cologne and Mainz, so let me get rid of these two. I'll lose Moscow after the next war with Poland, so that's gonna be fixed. Oh, the ruler changed <laughs> just right away. And uh, yeah, 541, and we need to increase his military skill or... 
how does it work? It didn't increase his skill and for the next guy. 552. Five, Did I get a better skill for him? Or this event is coming too early? Or I, I have... I should have waited for it. I don't know how it works, honestly. We'll see. I think I should go ahead and decrease an auto on in the country just to scale it better that the rebels won't matter, honestly. The pursuit of gold. I don't remember this event. I either get uh, deeper points to lose uh, money or I must create gold. Spend money and how I can... I, what does it mean? And now... Like, I will create a gold province, I will just get more money. Let's just try it. Byzantine refugees, yes, my favorite event. So I'm gonna pay some power points, 50 diplo points and 30 alumana. And in exchange, I'm getting 30 years of 10% technology cost. And the course paint and available, which is uh, another 65 ducats for 50 alumana. I'm getting really nice even today. Is this Masco fighting with fold? I, mean, I wanted to not be ally of Muscovy anymore and honestly do I need to be? What happened to army Bohemia? Because I could help them in one war or I could let them die? So I think they will lose this unless like these guys are disloyal. They are disloyal. Brandenburg allied Poland by the way. Oh my god. Sure, I will accept because I will need them to deal with these two guys. It's unfortunate because I wanted to do wars both with Poland and Brandenburg separately, but they allied each other. Yes, I just became Holy Roman Emperor. And look, as we are the tech six, it's already starting to be problematic. Not only my army cult is complete trash at this point, but even more importantly, I'm getting uh, plus 10 unbalanced research. It's gonna keep increasing. So when I will be uh, subjugating Brandenburg, I will need to request the electorate. To do that, I need very good relations with the Emperor. <laughs> so let's ally them already. And I need 80 of trust on them. So I was starting pre relations and building favors. So I'm so ahead in Diplon's admin points. I'm gonna go ahead and start developing um, oh, Marienburg, right? Or Danzig. I think Danzig. Because I need a province with 30 development to start the golden era and start the wing one mill point as well tick and now after I get renaissance to one more province which is Netze I'll start the golden era I'm seriously reconsidering how I'm gonna play around this campaign because look the world is getting 35 liberty desire because they have in theory 50% of my army strength even though I have 8,000 troops, I have 26,000. This is because I don't have the Miltech. So guys, after this war is finished, I'm gonna start the next thing then, because I prefer to have this lands by my own. I'm getting out of this war because it's just a waste of time. Uh, the issue is, even if I wanted to attack Brandenburg, only Platinate would help me. Why would this guy's not malevolent ruler? This guy's... What? So what? You are a Holy Roman Emperor. Pope? No. Moscow? No. I need to get Bohemia. Getting Bohemia should be fairly useful. First of all, let me start paying for armies. Take more of armies here. And... Uh, did this help here? <laughs> 1%. I'm gonna go to Bohemia and ask them to prepare for war. They have tech 4. Poland has tech 4. I can fight with Poland. Two things. First of all, I guess expansion impacts from the Age of Discovery and... The golden era. So Poland itself, I'm just wise pissing them out of the that all of these provinces. We need shorter truce to take care of them by ourselves later. Oh no, guys. <laughs> France just attacked HRE and so... I'll be Hesek and win that. I mean, I'm joining this war, but uh, we have inferior better numbers, but you know, my numbers <laughs> do not count. Well, I'm at least gonna try using that to get favors, so I'm gonna get trust on them for the mission tree. Mr. Brandenburg, first of all, I'm gonna separate piece Goslar to get some prestige out of them. And then from Brandenburg themselves, time to make them our vassals. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna get favors on Hesse in this war, because it's not a war directly on Hesse, they're just protecting someone as the Holy Roman Emperor. Can I take... One province here as well. Look, that's gonna be a big amount of AE. 
I'll wait till December to piece this out. Subjugate Brandenburg is gonna give me mill points and army tradition. Now we need to get an electorate. On top of that, we'll still have to go and conquer more provinces around here, which is fine, it's just gonna take some time, and I'm gonna change to a kingdom because of that. Tech 7, let's take it a little bit ahead of time, is second uh, group of an idea. I was telling you, I was thinking about espionage, if you know, I guess expansion, impact, siege ability, and I'm struggling right now is to take influence, but you know what, let's just follow our original plan, so cost of creating claims and I guess expansion impact. If I'm already following the original plan, I also go ahead and start an action with one order. I'm just gonna do it myself. Guys, we have a problem. France is focusing us. I might regret joining this war. Look how they are destroying. Why am I running away to Mecklenburg? Why not running to Livonia or at least Menel? Yes, they pissed out France. Did Provence cease to exist? Pro they cease to exist. <sighs> Thank you. Now we are left with another war, and I think I did not get any favors on Hesse. What a waste. The next espionage idea, I'm not gonna get only 10% siege ability, but also 20% of army, so maybe that could work with this, not really. You are still this loyal, that's, that's, that's it's just pain in the ass, honestly. Anyway, I'm attacking Poland with Moscow, Bohemia and Palatinate. This is what happens when you fight Tech 3 versus Tech 6. That's how much I'm losing. <laughs> I'm not thinking, guys, how can I solve it, right? Because, for example, my military tactics is complete trash. It's just 0.5. I have one. I'm looking for the mercs. Look, that mercs like independent company, grand company, they have the same military tactics as me, so complete trash. But uh, look, Novgorod company, Lithuanian company, they have stats of the normal technology. So I should go ahead. And recruit them instead of what I have right now because with this Merex I should be actually able to normally fight. Why well, I'm really struggling to defend from Poland, but I'm defending thanks to the Merex. Moscow is completely destroying them. This is the piece they're doing against Poland only because Trava was enhanced with Bohemia, so that screwed me a little bit over. Something to spend my admin points on, and I need to immediately attack Hungary, but I don't have enough help. I would need Bohemia to. Why? Do we have stay? Oh, they want everything. <laughs> we need to find someone to ally us to fight hunger because they are supporting independence of living order. And that word allowed me to become a great power number five. What a person can do to maintain alliance with the weak emperor. Very much being sieged by France repeatedly because it keeps attacking stuff. Please let me out. <laughs> Guys, I'm saved. France was reaching about to attack me in Goldingen, but they got pissed out. I have so many access expansion modifiers that taking all of this process is just 15 AE. It's partly because I really was also giving access expansion impacts. Let me just go and take all of this. Remember, for the mission over here, become an elector, I need also to have 20 provinces in HRE. I have 680 mil points. Well, I can't spend them on the technology, so it's time to go ahead and develop the provinces far more. I mean, manpower is not very useful for me when my, all of my troops are pretty much dying instantly in the battles. But still, playing toll just for the matter of playing toll, you know, is just very satisfying. That's why I love doing so. With spending all of these mill points, I have right now 35,000 maximum power and a new government reform to be taken, which is gonna be monastic breweries, production of grain, wine, and goods price modifier increase for us. How's it gonna impact our income? It's 30.77, 32, and after the monthly goals are trading, I should update. How it's looking, I have 0.5 military tactics. These guys already have 1.3. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. At least Hesse is still a hard human emperor. So I can still improve with, uh, my trust on them. Well, in the meantime, if I take these two provinces, will anyone care? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No one will care. Especially as it's 13th December again. Just do that. And how many more provinces I need for this? I need one more province in Germany. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Yes, marks that were so useful, but they are all out of manpower. So I need to wait for them to recover and recruit them again. Last idea in espionage is giving me monthly favor growth. So right now, instead of 0.17, 
I'll be using 0.23 and a policy for under siege ability. Again, France. It's the first time I have to fight them to keep alliance with Hesse. It's one million dollars question. Can... Oh, they're running away, but I wanted to check if I can beat 7,000 button troops with my 30k stack. I'm really afraid I will not be able to do that. In one case, it's easy, but more, not a chance. Second try, guys. <sighs> I'm afraid it might be smashed. Look, 1.2.5. Five of military tactics. Okay, 5k I can deal with, but France is coming, guys. Can I run? Yes, 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 yes. please run, 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 run. In any case, can go ahead and ally Austria, which even though it's not Emperor, they're gonna be extremely useful to deal with Bohemia. Mr. France, let's take a look. Oh, that's not even France, that's Naples. Can I defeat their 12? No. No, not at all. When I can run away on 18. <laughs> It was almost a stack of <laughs> 17,000 of losses. And why is France focusing on me? Why they did not siege down Hesse yet? Even when I tried to go and hide in Oslo, France came for Lithuania and caught me. I think that's gonna be a wipe on my whole army. I need to survive five days, guys. <sighs> well, even if I survive... One day. One more day. Even when I survived, I'm left with 7,000 troops and I'm running away to pause them where I'm gonna be wiped. 34,000 troops decreased to 7.8,000. It's tough, guys. It's tough. Let me run. I need to get out of this war. Screw it. I'm just gonna accept the offer, which is uh, money, war operations, and unlinked resources with uh, Maskoi. I hope that it does not decrease my trust. I decrease my trust on Hesse by 10. So I'm gonna be slowed down because freaking France. At last, De Lithuania declared a war on Col Poland. Which is a good situation for us to also go ahead and attack Poland. So we can very quickly take advantage of that and easily win a war with Poland and snipe a couple of provinces before Lithuania does so. So how is our siege ability? Yes. 35% look now Lithuanian company is 12,000 Novgorod company is 8,000 and independent Cossacks cost is 20,000 so we could actually manage to fight wars with them just take advantage of this new stack let's go and focus on first defeating Lithuania well let's see the first battle remember half of my army is manpower trash army the other half are pretty good marks and this mark should carry me to at least have a chance in this battle but it's tough i will actually go and call austria to help me out 20,000 of my troops died i think i have to get rid of the manpower troops in any case i should just focus on what i can do best so Sijinan Province is my insane siege ability. Military divided! We must always attack even more siege abilities right now. These siege phases are just 23 days. Mr. Lithuania, time to fix borders. <laughs> I'm like Prussian Poland. Uh, core everything. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough admin mana for all of this, but this is fine. Now we need to get ready for this mission. And to get that mission, I'm gonna go and attack Mr. Bohemia with the help of Austria, which is gonna be conquest of Lohov. Of course, what I can take from Bohemia. Yes, whole Silesia with some additions. This is not a problem for this expansion. Please also take war operations and as much money as they're gonna accept. Just not 117. What the hell game? Are you drunk? I cannot take 117% of the war score. Uh, send this peace deal. I just look. I, I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm doing uh, Prussia, which looks like Poland game. Now with 80 of trust on Hesse. Last step is to get our relations to 200, which is pretty much right now. And I can request from them to take electorate from Brandenburg and give that to us. But of course it's stuck at 199. So what I have to do, I will go to Frankfurt and I will come for insult Frankfurt, which works the way that it increases my relations with Hesse significantly. So that's 200. Can take the decision, splendid. And now boys, we are officially elector. That allows you to become a kingdom. So I don't have that much problems with Gavkapist anymore. I should, by the way, 
accept these cultures. And that's a mission, become an elector, that's prestige, devotion, diplomat and diplomatic relations. In the case I'm gonna sell my titles, just simply to go and embrace this institution. So I can get my final goal faster, so getting tech 10 S and secularizing. This way with the institution, <laughs> Number two great power of technologist 993. There we go, boys. With tech 10, I'm paying 0.5 for unbalanced research, but that allows me to take the offensive ideas that I promised you. And even more importantly, the mission Secularize Prussia that gives me 50 admin mana, but more importantly, formation of the Prussian monarchy that allows me to go and change the Prussian monarchy, you know, with militarization or take some. No, 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 no. We are becoming a Prussian monarchy. This is actually decreasing because, yeah, my gaff capacity just decreased significantly. But I can go ahead and take uh, some gaff capacity from Junkers. That helps a little bit. We'll have to increase that even further or simply go ahead and uh, build some card houses. I also have to change my guarantee forms, which doesn't matter that much. Let me go and text. No, no, actually, I almost clicked the tax meta. Uh, manpower, reform, progress, some advisor cost. Oh, I could have taken actually the leader's cost, honestly. Let's go for the leader's cost because now leaders are costing me 33 mana points. And I think, guys, that's gonna be the perfect ending. Secularizing Prussia 1514. Pretty nice borders with these two disloyal subjects. And number two, great power without taking a single military technology. So, guys, remember to leave a like on this video if you do enjoy this kind of uh, challenges. And let me know in comments what kind of a challenge I should try next. And of course, to get notified about this next challenge, remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye!